In this video I'm going to show you how to both make a windrose using the Iowa Environmental Mesonet site and then clip images from your output and put them in a Microsoft Word document. And this is a case where you needed to make a uh, report on uh, windrows uh, or wind speed and direction conditions at a particular location. So I'm going to go, I did a search for Iowa Mesonet windrows. It comes up. This is the default but we need to change the station data and metadata to our location. Click on that. Select network. I want the Colorado ASOS station right here. Switch network. Now I'm going to pick my site in Colorado that I'm interested in. Let's just do Colorado Springs for an example. Select station. So now we have the Colorado Springs, Colorado station selected. I go to windrows. And now I can see the annual windrows for Colorado Springs. This is from 1970 through 2015. Gives the basic statistics. Windrows for the year. And if you scroll down, you can see the windrows for the individual months. Colorado Springs, they don't change very much throughout the year. Uh, this is in contrast to other locations where you see strong month-to-month -month variation. But let's just say we wanted to make a report. Let's say we wanted to compare Colorado Springs to another location. We can clip this image right out of this web page using the snipping tool in Windows. So I'm going to click on the here, go to All Programs. Go to Accessories, and then go down to Snipping Tool. All right, it's sitting here right now. You can see this little user box pops up. Click New, and you'll see this crosshairs appear. Now I can just clip this. piece out that I want. All right, so now I've got it on the clipboard and I can paste it into something else like a Microsoft Word document. Edit, copy. Now I'm going to open up Microsoft Word. I've already got it open here. And um, if you're trying to make a report, you can put headers, of course, on here. Once I get this into position, I can paste it in with Control V. And now I've got a nice plot here ready to print or use in some kind of report. Uh, if I wanted to shrink it down, obviously, I could right click on it, size and position, make it a lot smaller. Okay, and let's say I wanted to compare that to another location. So I'm going to go back to the website. Let's pick something different. Lamar, Colorado, out in the southeast corner of the state. Go to Windroses. Now I have Lamar. See, it's very different. Go back to my snipping tool. Colorado Springs is still there, but I can click New. New set of crosshairs appear. Clip this piece, edit, copy, back to Microsoft Word, paste with Control V, right click, size and position, 45%. So now you can see how you can generate start generating nice wind analysis reports very quickly using the Iowa Mesonet site, Microsoft Word, and the snipping tool. So this would allow very quick assessment of the wind differences between these two locations, 
not only in magnitude but in uh, directional characteristics. So I encourage you when you need to turn in uh, information uh, for a wind analysis you can use this strategy to quickly generate a nice looking professional report.